Professor Joseph Jobs Kaira, Chemistry Channel, for these lessons. Trial. Um, we are looking at the next point, which I'm calling Trial. point seven, a very important point on uh, organic synthesis. Uh, it's there on your screen. You can view that point. Uh, that point emphasizes Trial. that uh, we should have, uh, when you look at that point, point seven, it emphasizes, uh, we go to the, yeah, that slide there. For reactions that are temperature specific, you should specify Trial. the temperatures. And we are first of all looking at dehydration of alcohols. If we are dehydrating primary alcohols, for example, Trial. ethanol, we usually use concentrated sulfuric acid at a temperature Trial. of uh, between 170 to 180 degrees Celsius to give you a thin. The same Trial. temperature is usually used for all primary alcohols. When we are dehydrating secondary alcohols, the temperature is usually between 100 to Trial. 140. For example, you have propan 2 all and you're dehydrating it. The temperature, use the same reagent, but the temperature is between 100 to 140 degrees Celsius. This one Trial. will give me propene. If you're dehydrating a tertiary alcohol, for example, this alcohol Trial. here, you can think of its name. You can also write its structure like this. Trial. If that one confuses you, this is called 2-methyl propane 2-ol. If you're dehydrating this kind of alcohol, uh, let the screen, let you watch that screen and you see uh, the temperature we use for this is usually 25 to, Trial. 25 to 80 degrees Celsius. That's the temperature I usually use. And this one will give you this kind of alkene. That's the kind of Trial. alkene you get for such a dehydration. However, we don't have to cram these temperatures because Trial. we realize that by the time we reach a temperature of 180, every alcohol will have Trial. been dehydrated. So, to be safer or to avoid the cram work, you can use that temperature 180 between 170 to 180 degrees Celsius to dehydrate Trial. any alcohol, whether primary, secondary, or tertiary. Our next point about temperature, we are looking at temperature-specific reactions. This is uh, about dehydration of alcohols. Trial. That point you see on your screen, after dehydration of alcohols, the other point is uh, that point, Trial. which talks about... Um, is that point which talks about uh, hydrogen, hydrogenation of alkenes or alkynes. If you're hydrogenating Trial. alkenes or alkynes, for example, this is my alkene, and I want to hydrogenate it, hydrogen and nickel. This temperature, Trial. this reaction is temperature specific. It requires us to use 150 degrees Celsius, and it will give us propane. Trial. It will give us propane. Uh, so that's also a temperature-specific reaction. The other temperature-specific reaction is ozonolysis of alkenes. If you are ozonolyzing alkenes, Trial. usually we prefer using symmetrical alkenes for ozonolysis. If you are ozonolyzing this alkene, which is but 2 in, the procedure for ozonolysis Trial. usually has two steps. The first step is to use ozone, carbon tetrachloride, at a temperature less than 20 degrees Celsius. So this is a temperature-specific reaction. You should specify that temperature. And then uh, you add, you hydrolyze Trial. in your second step using zinc and ethanoic acid. So this reaction will give you two aldehydes. It will, uh, there will be cleavage at that bond to form uh, Trial. ethanol as our product. So it's also a, a temperature-specific reaction. The other temperature-specific reaction, you see it on your screen, is that reaction 
that involves uh, wow. chlorination of alkanes using sulfuryl chloride. If you are chlorinating alkanes, for example, wow. you're chlorinating uh, ethane. We are chlorinating ethane. We shall use uh, sulfuryl chloride. That is sulfuryl chloride. In the presence of a reagent we call wow. dibenzoyl peroxide. This reaction requires a temperature between 40 to 80 degrees Celsius. So it is also a temperature-specific reaction uh, and needs you to specify the temperature for that reaction. The other reaction is that one you yet Trial. see on your screen, the reaction that involves uh, hydration of alkynes. When we are hydrating alkynes, Trial. Uh, this is what takes place. So if you want to hydrate alkynes, it is also a temperature-specific reaction. Hydration of alkynes, Trial. I'll look at this specific alkyne here, which is propyne. If you want to hydrate uh, propyne, you use, uh, you use water in the presence of dilute sulfuric acid, and then nitrate to sulfate catalyst at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. So this hydration here is also a temperature specific reaction. I hope everyone has seen this reaction uh, when you were looking at alkynes. This reaction will give you propanone. It will give you a ketone as your product. Hope we are following or the temperature-specific reaction. Trial. The other temperature-specific reaction is that next reaction on your screen. The reaction that is involving uh, polymerization of ethane to form benzene. If you are polymerizing ethane to form Trial. benzene, this reaction is called polymerization. This reaction involves use of uh, iron or copper. You choose one of the two. When you use those ones, the temperature is 600 degrees Celsius. Trial. Somebody may choose to use another reagent, which is complex organonico Trial. catalyst. When you use complex organonico catalyst, the reaction is also temperature specific. If you use that reaction, uh, you'll have to use a temperature Trial. between 60 to 70 degrees Celsius and then a pressure of 5 atmosphere, you will still have that conversion. So we are looking at temperature-specific reactions. The other temperature-specific reaction is the one still on your screen, the one-step conversion of bromobenzene to phenol. If Trial. I talk of the one-step conversion of bromobenzene to phenol, many students are not used to this reaction. Trial. If I want to convert bromobenzene to phenol, I can use one step. And that one-step reaction involves the use of water in steam form. So the water should be gaseous. Then use silicon at a temperature Trial. of 425 degrees Celsius. This is also a temperature-specific reaction. Uh, I'm a bit faster because we are emphasizing Trial. only temperature. Most of you have looked at all of these reactions the other temperature-specific reaction Trial. is that one that you're seeing now on your screen. The reaction that involves nitration of benzene. Trial. If you're nitrating benzene, you want to nitrate benzene. This is your benzene, and you want to nitrate it. You use conconitric acid Trial. and then concentrated sulfuric acid. This reaction occurs at a temperature Trial. between 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. It's a temperature-specific reaction. Don't always forget to specify that temperature in case you're doing Trial. a synthesis. This reaction gives us a product called nitrobenzene. Gives us a product called nitrobenzene Trial. after nitration of benzene. The other temperature-specific reaction is a reaction that involves 
trial. Uh, is that reaction that you're going to see on your screen, a reaction that involves um, a reaction that involves sulfonation of benzene. If you're sulfonating benzene, trial. You have benzene, and you want to sulfonate it. Sulfonation means reaction with fuming trial. sulfuric acid. This reaction requires a temperature of 35 to 50 degrees Celsius. And that reaction trial. will occur for 20 to 30 minutes. If you use trial. this condition, fuming sulfuric acid, the reaction will occur for 20 to 30 minutes. The reaction can also occur if you use concentrated sulfuric trial. acid. If you use concentrated sulfuric acid, this reaction requires you to reflux or heat. Choose one of the two. Don't write both inorganic synthesis. So Try. this reaction here takes a little bit longer in case you use concentrated sulfuric acid. Fuming sulfuric acid means concentrated sulfuric acid with dissolved sulfur trioxide. Then concentrated sulfuric acid is just concentrated sulfuric acid. Try. Now this reaction will take around eight hours. So it depends. Do you want to move faster? Do you want to take a little bit longer? Try. It depends on what you want to do in the lab. This reaction will result into formation Trial. of what we call benzene sulfonic acid. It's a temperature specific Trial. reaction. The other temperature specific reaction is that reaction that involves formation of benzene diazonium chloride. Trial. If you want to form benzene diazonium chloride, you will require to, you'll be required to use amino benzene. You want to form benzene sulfonic Trial. acid, you'll have to use amino benzene. Some people call it aniline, but the IUPAC name Trial. is amino benzene. You want to convert it to benzene diazonium chloride. Trial. Benzene diazonium chloride is this compound here. A negative charge on chlorine Trial. and a positive charge on nitrogen. So this reaction will require you to use sodium nitrite in presence of dilute hydrochloric acid at zero degrees Trial. Celsius. It's a temperature specific reaction. Those are the most common temperature specific reactions via students and viewers that you need Trial. to memorize as you want to go through organic synthesis. But there are many others which will come across. I've only cited a few. Let's proceed to the next slide. Trial. And then see our next point. Our next point Trial. in organic synthesis is uh, about that has been point seven. We have been looking at temperature specific reactions. Now we want to see uh, the other point uh, in organic synthesis. That is point eight. Point eight is emphasizing to us dear students that there are reactions which Trial. are during heating or reflux. Uh, there are reactions which require heating or reflux Trial. or warming. And then if you forget the heating or if you forget uh, the warming, then Trial. you are not safe. You're likely to lose marks. The first reaction is decarboxylation. If you're doing a decarboxylation, uh, you're removing a carboxyl group from a carboxylic acid, please, you Trial. must heat, but you should not reflux or warm. For example, this is benzoic acid. This is benzoic acid. Trial. And this is ethanoic acid. If you want to decarboxylate these ones, you can use soda lime Trial. and then heat. This is the point of emphasis. You forget the heating, you lose the max. For benzoic acid, you'll get benzene, and for ethanoic Trial. acid, you'll get methane. The carboxyl group is removed. That's why the reaction Trial. is called decarboxylation. Don't reflux, don't warm. The word is strictly heat. Trial. The other reaction that involves heating or warming is the reaction uh, that we call dehalogenation of vicino halides using zinc. That's not a common reaction. So if you want to, to dehalogenate vicino dihalides, 
like this one, CH, Cl, then CH2, Cl. You want to use zinc to dehydrohalogenate it to form a, obviously an alkene. You'll have to use zinc Trial. and then you must heat. That's another reaction, but it's not a common reaction. I don't want you to look at that reaction for synthesis, basically Trial. because we usually get the haloalkane from the alkene that we are, we are yet to synthesize. Then the other reaction that uh, requires us Trial. to use heat or warm or reflux is that reaction on your screen, which is called Trial. hydrolysis of alkenes. If you want to hydrolyze alkenes, that is the alkene, propene, you want to hydrolyze it. You use one concentrated sulfuric Trial. acid, and then two, you add water and warm. We may Trial. accept heat or warming, but reflux is not accepted. So this reaction here, some people write it this way. They say acidified water and then warm. So here either Trial. warming or heating is accepted. And the reaction results into formation of a secondary Trial. alcohol in most of the, actually in all cases, you end up getting a secondary alcohol, but not a primary Trial. alcohol. In this case, we have converted propene to propane to all. The next reaction where you need to emphasize heat or warming or reflux is that reaction that uh, is called reduction of phenol. If you want to reduce phenol, if you want to reduce phenol, this is the phenol. Trial. You want to reduce it, you use zinc dust. This reaction is strictly requiring heating. You should not use Trial. warming or reflux. It gives you benzene. So here you strictly use heat. You don't use warm, you don't reflux. Our next reaction Trial. that I want us to emphasize, dear students watching live on our Facebook page of Star TV, those watching live on screen, um, those on YouTube, please emphasize these reactions. The next reaction is that reaction that we are calling uh, halogenation of benzene using iron or aluminum catalyst. Trial. In case benzene is halogenated, for example, you halogenate it using chlorine, is the reagent in the presence of iron or aluminum, this reaction must be requiring heat. Because first of Trial. all, the iron has to react with the chlorine to form iron 3 chloride. If you don't heat, that reaction will not take place. Trial. Such that after forming of the Lewis acid, then the reaction can proceed. However, if we do the reaction Trial. this way, if you use chlorine in the presence of iron 3 chloride, then we don't need to heat. This reaction will require you to form benzene. So we are emphasizing reactions that require us, require us to use heat, warm, or reflux. Trial. The next reaction that I want us to emphasize is that reaction that we call nitrile formation. If we are forming nitriles, if we are forming nitriles, Trial. remember nitriles are sometimes called cyanides. We form them from haloalkanes. We, call, we form them from alkyl halides. Trial. So if I want this compound here, this compound is called propane nitrile. So if I want to convert uh, pro chloropropane to this compound here, I'll use potassium cyanide in the presence of ethanol or alcoholic Trial. potassium cyanide, I must heat. So in this case, the heating is accepted or reflux. We can also accept reflux, Trial. but uh, warming is strictly rejected. The next reaction that we shall Trial. need is that reaction that uh, is that reaction 
that involves Sandmeyer reaction. Sandmeyer reaction is what you call replacement of diazonium chloride. This one involves so many reactions. If you look at Trial. benzene diazonium chloride, it is this compound here. We have already looked at it. Trial. Now this compound here can be converted to Trial. to benzene nitrile or cyanobenzene. If you want to do that conversion, you use potassium cyanide aqueous. And then when you use potassium Trial. cyanide aqueous, you warm. You may also want to convert this to chlorobenzene. Trial. If you want to convert it to chlorobenzene, use copper 1 Trial. chloride catalyst in the presence of concentrated hydrochloric acid, and then you warm. So I'm emphasizing the word warming. Trial. If I want bromobenzene, I'll use copper Trial. bromide, copper one bromide as my catalyst. Then I'll use concentrated hydrobromic acid and then I'll still warm. If I Trial. want, here you may add hydrocyanic acid. If I want uh, to get if I want to get uh, iodobenzene, I'll use potassium iodide, aqueous, Trial. and then I will warm. So all those reactions are involving the benzene diazonium chloride being converted to another compound, Trial. Uh, which we are calling replacement of the diazonium chloride. They require us to warm. So you need to understand those reactions because they can also be equally important in organic Trial. synthesis. Um, the next reaction, 